Well, hello, it's Karen McDermott Rolf with Creative Life Scrapbooking. And today was my turn to share a layout for Border Maker Monday with our Facebook group and our Facebook page. And I created this layout using the back to school materials and a few of our Border Maker cartridges from Creative Memories. If you like this layout and would like instructions, please go to our website at creativelifescrapbooking.com. Okay, it's creativelifescrapbooking.com to find the instructions. But today I've made a quick video to demonstrate a way that you can place letter stickers on your layouts straight. Okay, you might notice here that my title is just kind of um, placed down, floating at the bottom of the page. And I'm not really, I don't really have a straight edge to place it on. If I'd placed the title on the top of the photo mats, I could have easily followed um, the top of the mats here as a straight guide. But instead, they're down here. So in the past... Um, the old Creative Memories had a wonderful tool called Title Topia. So many of you might have this old tool and use that when you're aligning your stickers. And there's um, some great templates in here, as you can see on the cover, so, you know, of placing your stickers and patterns such as circular or swirly patterns, in addition to just a straight line. Last year, the new Creative Memories uh, released a similar version of Tidal Topia during a promotion. So more of you might have been able to get that version of the Tidal Topia at that time. But if you don't have a Tidal Topia, that's what I wanted to talk about today. And I wanted to show you something, um, another way that you can do this. Okay. So with any of our stickers, whether it's letter stickers or the decorative stickers, after you use up an entire sheet of stickers, you're going to have um, some backing left. You're just gonna peel off the, the backing of the stickers and then it's gonna reveal this kind of non-sticky, kind of waxed paper sheet, okay? So what I've done is with my 12 inch trimmer, I've just cut it, okay? So now I have straight edges. I'm gonna use the large piece as um, a backing and then the smaller piece as my align guide with a straight edge. And I'm gonna add um, kind of another little title to my layout here. I'm gonna use our black collegiate ABC123 letter stickers. These are in our product line, but recently Creative Memories ran a promotion where they released the collegiate style ABC 123 letter stickers in a variety of school colors. And there's still a few of the colors left. So if you go to the Creative Memories website, you should be able to nab um, some more of these collegiate style letters in your school colors. Okay, so I'm just going to peel off the letters that I want to use here for my secondary title. And I'm going to place them on the straight edge here of the smaller piece, so they're straight. And I'm just going to place like the bottom edge of the sticker right there on the edge. Can you see that? So it's just right on the edge. And then the backing sheet, um, since it's non-adhesive, um, the, the sticker won't stick to it. See? See that? Okay. So now, let me see, I need some small letters. I'm just gonna use my, put my granddaughter's name on here. So again, I'm just aligning the, the bottom tip of the letter stickers to the straight edge here on this piece. So there I have her name spelled out, and it's nice and straight. So now I can take away um, the back background piece here. And since I have it straight, I can play with it. I can move it around on my layout and see where I want to place it. Do I want to place it down here by the embellishments? Do I want to place it up here? Um, would I want to place it over a mat, perhaps? Um, do I need to center it? This is a way that you could center the title, you know, if I'm gonna place it or I want to align it. I think I'm gonna place it up here. So I think what I'm looking at is the top of the I and the E, so those are straight with my photo mats. And now I'm gonna just rub the top of the stickers down onto this background of my layout, whoops. 
That one came off a little bit, so I'm just going to reposition it. Oops, it really came off that time. There we go. And so now I'm, I've, I've got them straight, vertically straight, and they're horizontally straight. And now I'm going to take this little backing piece and I'm just going to flip it up and kind of pull it out at the same time and kind of hold down the letter stickers so I don't accidentally pull those up. And then I'm going to rub over the bottom to secure them to the layout. Okay. And I do need the little dot for the eye. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to just add that. There we go. So you see how quick and easy it was to use this little um, trick in order to, to line up your titles, your letter stickers straight, or to center them, or just to experiment and see how the title might look at different positions on your layout. So I hope you find this tip helpful, and thanks so much for watching today.